Okay, this is the beginning of the Ruta de Cascadas in Banos, Ecuador. And for a few minutes in the last three days, there's some sun. That was a little bit yesterday, but not much. And all I gotta do is keep from getting hit by a car. The first obvious stop on the road. Not a bad morning given usual Ecuador periods like this. The zip line actually will get your attention. It runs here all the way across the river over that falls. Now that's got to be a ride. Notice there's an even higher one up there going to the same location it looks like. Your hero will not engage in such activities. It is beneath me. That's what frightens me to death. It is beneath me. Here we have, in essence, three falls. A big one in the center, a one off to the right, and a hawk of some sort going by. Of course, that little one off to the left. This is a very nice bypass road created for principally for bicyclists, I think, to avoid the tunnel. Tunnels are scary when you're on a bike because it's first of all narrow and when you get in the tunnel and then a vehicle comes in it just sounds like this huge roar and you just imagine something getting ready to eat you up. Imagine living in that little house up there. I don't know how long it takes to get to a bridge. Probably 20 minutes or so, but what a lifestyle. You can tell from looking at some of what's up above, these are not stable hillsides. The road used to go that way. And it's all fallen down. Go bang. This is where it used to be. Spectacular countryside wicked if you have to navigate it. Can't tell for sure if it's a 
No, it's not a buzzard. I think it's a hawk. Small falls. Or cascade would be better. I've changed my opinion. I think what road that I travel to get around the outside of these tunnels is in fact the old road before they built the tunnels. Like in Daw. I'm sure we'll have a better look at this falls in a few minutes farther downhill. Notice how there's a little falls off to the left. <laughs> Notice how the upper part of the falls shunts water off to the left in some kind of little tiny rivulet. And that's probably what creates this little falls that we see dumping in on the left. The lush valley that flows from wicked mountainsides. And notice how they've agricultured on those steep slopes, mind-boggling. If I had to walk up to the top of that slope, I'd put it down as one of my great epic adventures. And in conjunction with this little falls we saw just before the tunnel opening, is this restaurant on the left now closed, but you can see that the cement's relatively new. So at one time, not too long ago, there was still optimism for its future. And in fact, I think with some imagination, they built these pools, and my guess, they raised fish in it to sell in the restaurant. On the other side of the river, notice it again looks like a fish hatchery of some sort. How many times can you look at a beautiful painting? Was one of those slides that you can take across the river. Imagine living your life up there. You look like some kind of iris. I think it's the first time I've seen this flower. And I'm guessing this river is riddled with falls. Many we can't even see. They're too small, hidden in the trees. Not spectacular enough to notice. This is one of the small villages that's along the old road. I've now determined it is. This is Rio Verde and it's right near here that we stop. And here I can walk down to uh, Diablo. Pilon Diablo, del Diablo. So I'm now in Rio Verde, the little town where the Pilon del Diablo Falls is, the most famous of them. There are two routes to, that you can look at the falls from. This is the first. They don't tell you this when you get your bike. They want you to go to the other one. I wanted to do both, so I stopped and got an ice cream, which I wanted to do, and asked the lady, and she directed me back a block from where I was. She told me 
I could leave my bike there for security uh, at her shop and so I'll walk down there. Here a little church. It may not be important whether they see both viewpoints. But I do the research and when I see something I want to do, then I really want to do it. And so I do. But that's the benefit of research. What you're doing, it's not hard to figure out. There are signs all over the place. It's not a church, it's an interestingly designed cement house. With some dramatic color to set off the design. And they've continued it right here. My guess this is a person who plays a significant role in this falls business. A little box bit of color. Imaginative use of those old containers. It's not the falls, but pretty anyway. I'm sure it's the water that feeds the falls. 